Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Ben-Noon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. Kiev, Ukraine, is going into a military lockdown under martial law this evening in Kiev. Live reports coming out of the Ukraine there that they are going to a lockdown of the country there. Fighting has intensified and tensions have grown extremely high. TASS uh, news agency also has been reporting uh, that Kiev asked additional military assistance from partners including NATO. Uh, recently, Polish and uh, British forces were practicing together in military uh, cooperation in the event that Russia may invade as well to help the militant groups or the rebel groups in, in the uh, eastern part of the Ukraine, which may very well happen now that Russia has been pushed back to the point of no return because there seems to be no end in sight with the uh, with the push with uh, the NATO forces against the Ukraine or against the Russian people that are in Ukraine, uh, according to the uh, TASS news agency here it says Ukraine has asked for additional military assistance from its partners, including NATO member uh, countries. Ukraine's ambassador and North Atlantic Alliance Igor D uh, Dogov said on Monday. We continue to cooperate with various countries, including NATO member states, and we have asked additional military assistance in the, in the case in the situation uh, as the situation deteriorates, he said. After an emergency meeting in the Ukraine, NATO commission as a military political organization, uh, NATO will not supply lethal weapons to Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Monday called the Ukrainian army a NATO legion that has the geopolitical goal to contain Russia. Putin uh, said incumbent Kiev authorities have given up the path of peaceful settlement of the current conflict in the country's east. The Russian leader also pointed out that recent ceasefire in eastern Ukraine was used for a re regrouping by the government forces. Last week it was reported that dead bodies in NATO uniforms and a great number of U.S. made weapons had been recovered from under the debris of the Dantisk airport. Again, as we report this evening, Kiev is under lockdown. They are under martial law. It is inevitable that Russia will more than likely enter into this conflict very soon. Beyond that of supplying weapons unless a peaceful, peaceful settlement is reached rather quickly. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.